child, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising her in the faith so that keeping God's commandments, she may love the Lord and her neighbor as Christ taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? Yes. And God, parents, all 27 of you. Are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty? Yes. Could be lots of help. Yeah. And Nyla, the Church of God receives you with great joy. In her name I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ our Savior. Then after me, your parents and godparents will do the same. We're going to the sign of the cross on our forehead. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came and said to the eleven disciples, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. But it was fabulous, because we were seeing pictures the camera was pointed so it, it went through the hatch of the space module and you could see the surface of the moon. This was fantastic. I never thought anything like this would happen. The anticipation was incredible because we waited for Neil Armstrong, who is the astronaut, to step out of the spacecraft onto the moon and do a moonwalk. There was 450 million people watching this video. <coughs> which at one point was probably be a very big crowd. It's probably a, a rerun of Friends now. Neil Armstrong could have said anything when he exited the spacecraft. He could have said, boy, it's been a long ride, boys. Let's stretch our feet, stretch our legs. He could have said that was a doozy of a ride. He could have said anything. But he knew instinctively that what he was going to say had to be meaningful and had to be memorable. Does anybody remember what it is he said? He said, this is a small step for man and a giant leap for mankind. And those words were heard around the world. They were famous. And here we are today, and I'm going to remember it, at least. Well, we have a strikingly similar situation in our gospel. Jesus has been tried. He's been arrested, tried. He was crucified. He was buried. He rose from the dead. And it's now 40 days later. It's a Thursday. And he's with his disciples on the Mount of Ascension in Israel. It's a, it's a place where he ascended into heaven. And he's there because he's about to leave. He's about to vacate the place. And they all knew that he, before he left, he was going to say something. He was going to give them some instructions. Some last minute words. And you have to know that the last words that Jesus chose to use on earth had to be important. You better pay attention. And he said exactly what it said in our reading today. Go therefore and baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So why do we baptize as a church? It's pretty clear. Jesus told us to. Real clearly. And the words that I'm going to use to baptize the baby today are exactly the words that he told us to. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And that's the way we've been doing it for 2,000 years. And every time we do it, we pass the uh, chain, put another chain on, another link on the chain, you know, as we pass the, the faith down from generation to generation. I don't want to be somebody involved in breaking that chain. That would not be a good place to be. And so passing down your faith to your baby, to your child, is an important part of all this. Dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. For this child about to receive the grace of baptism and for her parents and godparents and all the baptized. Give this child a new birth and baptism through the radiant divine mystery of her death and resurrection. And join her to your holy church. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Make her a faithful disciple and witness your gospel through baptism and confirmation. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Lead her through holiness of life and the joys of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. St. Francois de Lavelle, pray for us. St. Marie, pray for us. 
Sainte Marguerite Bourgeois. Pray for us. Sainte Marguerite Duville. Pray for us. Saint Andre Bessette. Pray for us. Saint Kateri Tekawitha. Pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God. Almighty and ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free this child of original sin, to make her the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in her. Through Christ our Lord, Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on this child by water and the Holy Spirit. There's two anointings with oil during baptism. The first is the oil of catechumen, and it's made meant to strengthen the child to make her ready for the baptism. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise to new life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. By the mystery of this blessed water, graciously lead to spiritual rebirth, your servant, whom you have called to this cleansing in the faith of the church that she may have eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. As Catholics, we baptize infants often. We baptize adults as well. But we are different in many Christian denominations who tend to baptize adults only because they want the baptized person to have their faith. And Isla can't possibly have faith yet. She's too young. So how do we do it? Well, we baptize on the faith of the parents, the godparents, and the assembled community. So in preparing for that, we renew our own baptismal promises. We renew our own baptismal promises. These are the back promises that your parents would have made for you on your baptism. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? Those are the things that we reject, and these are the things that we pull to ourselves. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body and life everlasting this is our faith this is the faith of the church and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord is it your will therefore that Anila should receive baptism in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you parents godparents and Anila come on forward and of the son and of the holy spirit oh This second oil that we use is the oil of chrism. This is the chrism oil that we use for confirmation. You always remember that. And for ordination of priests and for various duties around the church. It was blessed for us on the Monday of Holy Week by Bishop Fabro. Bishop Fabro would be great if he could be here today. He's not coming. But what he's done is he sent his oil that he blessed for us. And he sent it to all the churches in the, in the diocese to be used for sacraments. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin and given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that joined to his people you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king until eternal life. Nyla, you have become a new creation. 
and have clothed yourself in Christ, may this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring it unstained into eternal life. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and Godparents, this light is entrusted to you to become to be kept burning brightly, so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as the child of the light, and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes, with all the saints in the heavenly court. May the Lord Jesus Christ, may the deaf ear and the mute speak, may he soon open these ears so that you can hear the word of God and open this mouth so you can proclaim his praise to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. Baptized in Christ, you are clothed in Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Please help me and join, please join me in welcoming the new member of our Catholic community. This child reborn through baptism is now called child of God. For indeed she shows she, she is. When she makes her confirmation, she will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And then she will approach the altar for communion where she will share at the table of his sacrifice. And will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. Now in, in, his, in her name, and in the spirit of adoption of sons and daughters, which we have all received, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We end our service today with a three-part blessing. The first part is a blessing for the mom. The second part is for the dad. And the third part is for everyone else. We all have to share the last one. The Lord God Almighty, through His Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth through their children. May He graciously bless the mother of this child so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her child, she may remain always united with her in thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Dad, may the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life both in heaven and earth, bless the father of this child, so that together with his wife, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith to, to their child in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given us new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless the faithful here present, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people, and may bestow his peace on all who are here in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way